Hello friends, welcome back. Um, today we're going to override inherited methods. In previous lessons you learned that an object can inherit its behavior methods from another object by referencing its prototype object. Child object dot prototype, um, yeah, object dot create, parent object dot prototype. So here we're again we're just setting the child object prototype to be a uh, subtype of this. Think about it, you build a parent prototype and then you make the child a part uh, a sub uh, class of the parent object. Um, then the child object received its own methods by chaining them into its prototype. Child object dot prototype dot method name is equal to uh, function. It's possible to override an inherited method. It's done the same way by adding a method to child object dot prototype using the same method name as the one to override. Here's an example of bird overriding the eat method inherited by animal. So the, uh, we, we create a constructor called animal. Uh, we make one of its prototypes a function, one of its prototypical functions, eat, and then we create a bird constructor. The bird inherits from the animal, so the animal uh, bird is a subclass of animal, and then we say the bird bird's prototype dot eat is equal to peck 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 instead of nom nom nom. <clears throat> if you have an instance let duck equal bird, you can call uh, if you create a new duck and a, uh, if you a new bird called duck, and you call duck.eat, it's going to now go peck, peck, peck. Uh, it, this is how the JavaScript looks from the method on the duck's prototype chain. Duck, is eat defined there? No. Bird, is eat defined there? Yes. Execute it and stop searching. Animal, eat is also defined, but JavaScript stopped at bird. And so, therefore, search it stopped before reaching the level of animal so the animal method never got called even though it was there but it was just behind bird so object javascript stops searching before reaching this level um, override the fly method of penguin so it returns alas this is a flightless bird okay so why is penguin a great example because if you do a bird prototype you've got the function of fly but penguins can't fly but we've made penguin here, penguin, we've created the constructor of penguin. The penguin is a prototype of bird, but the penguin, the constructor is penguin. Um, and uh, the problem is that we want, we don't want penguin to be able to fly. You see right now, we're console, so here we've created a penguin, and then we're logging penguin.fly, and it says I am flying. But penguins can't fly, so we need to override the fly function. And in order to do that, um, yeah. We're going to go uh, penguin.prototype.fly is equal to a function. Uh, and then we're going to return, alas, this is a flightless bird. And so now, if you go penguin.fly, but let's say we said let um, a dove is equal to a new um, bird. the console.log uh, dove.fly so the dove can fly I'm, this is the dove flying but the penguin is not able to and so that's how the prototypical inheritance works um, I guess I've just created a bird here with the, with the dove but I think that the, uh, the whole concept is still there at the end of the day the uh, penguin penguin's method of flying has been um, overridden because penguins cannot fly. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I uh, will see you in the next lesson.